Right, that's the oil service done for another year. Just in time as well, because it actually tipped down with rain. Right, so the next thing we've got to do is reset the service indicator. How do you do that? Well, I'll tell you exactly all the steps you need to know so we can reset the oil service. One of the things that is often missed when resetting the service indicator is to shut the door. And if you don't shut the door, you can't do it, which is all rather strange, but... Right, here we go. First of all, you need the key, put it in ignition. Don't press the brake pedal, press the stop start button. We immediately get the minus 1,900 miles. Long press on the button, warning triangle up. Spark plugs, 1,900 miles ago. Right, I'm going to stop just there a second because we could quickly whiz through it and you wouldn't understand what any of the symbols meant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow the video down so that I can explain what each of the symbols does. I'm not going to reset anything. In fact, these have all been reset in the past. I'm going to show what I'm doing to the button in the top right hand corner and we're going to whiz through what each of the symbols mean. So here we go. First one, service. So a picture of the car with two S's. Press and let go. We move on to brake fluid. And that's the period between changing the brake fluid. Next one, cabin microfilter. Yeah, there's a few that look like that. Um, but with the fan, it's the cabin microfilter. Rear brakes. Press and let go. Engine oil service. I'm going to stop there because it's I've obviously reset the engine oil serv service period using the method I'm going to explain to you. And it's reset it to tell me I don't need to change my oil for 19,000 miles. Yep, unfortunately in 19,000 miles, this car's going to be scrap. You can't go that long without changing oil. You really can't. Next one, inspection shows a car on the ramp. You reset that and it does gives you 22,000 miles. Front brakes reset that and it'll give you 50,000 miles. Spark plugs, 60,000 miles. That's the period that it reckons you should change them in. And we're back to service again. So yeah, that's a quick whiz through what's on the service menu. And now what we'll do is I'm going to show you how to reset, say the, well, we'll do the oil service one. We might as well show you how to reset that. It's exactly the same routine for changing any of them. If they've just been reset, they won't be reset again. You have to do a few miles before you reset them. If you try and reset them too early, they'll just come up and say, OK, and I'll show you a video of that as well. OK, so let's get on with it. Right, well, we're in the car. You need the key. Put it in the ignition. Don't put your foot on the brake. The door has to be closed. That's the bit that most people forget. Door has to be closed. Press the start stop button. All the lights come on on the dash. Long press on the left hand button. Warning triangle comes up and then we'll get a list of things. Spark plug. Do we want to reset that? Short press to move on to the next one. Oil. Long press on that. Reset. Let go. Press again. There we go. That one's reset. And then this oil's fine. Inspection's fine. That's 50,000 miles. Spark plugs are fine. Brake service. So I do a long press on that. Let go. Press again. Let go. And then you see the information change to dotted lines. And that's reset. So I think that's just about everything that I need to do. So I do that right from the start again. Key out. Door shut, most important. Key in the ignition. Don't press the V brake pedal. Press the stop start button. Get all the lights up. Long press on the trip button. So keep on pressing. The warning tri triangle will come up. Then we get a list of service items. We let go of the button. Then we can cycle through them. Any of which one we can choose to reset. There we go. We're cycling through all of them. All of my service items are fine because I <laughs> reset the oil service a while ago, but long button says, okay, I don't need to do anything about it. Move on to the next one, 22,000 miles, 50,000 miles, spark plug, 60,000 miles, all up to date, but anything you want to reset, do a long press, and then you get 
uh, request to if you want to reset it press it again and that will reset it wait make sure you get the dotted lines up the bottom and there we go then service reset all done um, pretty simple wasn't it it's just it seems like black magic unless it's explained but it's straightforward as long as you know the initial sequence and how it works in a big circle to reset all the different service items right thanks very much for watching thanks for subscribing put a thumbs up if you like the video and i'll see you next time